Looks like the internet's a little bit slow today. Oh, there we go. All right, we're online, uh, Facebook and YouTube. Welcome, everybody. Uh, we got Allison James and Greg Prescott uh, coming on. They've been out there getting it done, doing it for a long, long time, and they've come together. So it's going to be an exciting hour that we're going to spend with them. I'm just pulling up uh, YouTube and my Facebook page so I can look at the comments. Here we go. All right. I'm going to play the intro. We'll be back shortly, and we'll pull up Greg and uh, Allison and get to know them and see what's going on in their end of the world. Prescott and Allison James. Everybody knows Greg from uh, N5D. He's been out there doing the work for a long, long time. And now Allison's become a big part of it. I've, uh, I've uh, plugged in a few times when uh, she's been on doing her thing. It's very powerful. Uh, but we're going to get them together uh, on here on the screen. Uh, there's a story behind it. I'm not quite sure how much of everyone how much uh, of the story everybody knows, but here we go. All right, let's see. Let's start video. Start video. Here we go. Hi, Allison. Hi, hello. Nice to meet you. And you. I've heard a lot of good things about you. I've heard a lot of good things about you. I've, <laughs> I've been following you for years. Have you really? Yeah. Hey, Greg. Yeah. Oh, wait, he's, he's muted. <laughs> oh, he's, well, he knows what he's doing. He does. There he goes. You let me. You you you're muted. <laughs> he's been a, a bugger to me. Has he? Cause I, yes, because I've been so nervous about it. Have you and really? It was, I was on the phone. I'm really, really nervous. I was on the phone to him, and he he said, "Right, a neighbor's just knocked on the door, and I've got to go and jumpstart his car for him." And then he left me there, and it was like nine o'clock. I was like, "What?" I told her, make sure you get on and start without me. I didn't oh want to my start God. without you. Yeah. So this is crazy. I mean, like I ran into Greg. It's good to see you again, Greg. You too, brother. I always, I always get off on seeing you. I mean, being around you. But uh, we'll do well. Some I know we'll get together again at some point. But so I, I, I ran into Greg, was in Florida. We did a couple things together. And then mm -hmm. I think the last time I saw him, he starts telling me about you and I'm like, whoa, well, how did this happen? Right. And that's, that's all I know about it. And then I've been, I, I don't get on much, but I, but I, uh, I, I'm subscribed to Greg. So when I get on YouTube, you know, at times and, and you guys are, you're on. So the energy is just incredible. Like I, and I guess probably in, in 5d, everyone knows the story, but you know, that's all I know about it. Just from what Greg was telling me, I remember him telling me that, um, there was just that moment of knowing like and it was mutual i don't remember the details but i i know you guys have probably told this story quite a bit but it's an incredible time and this is an incredible occurrence i, I have i have a feeling so i don't know if you guys want to just kind of elaborate a little bit on what happened i'll let allison tell you All right. 
<laughs> I don't know how you're uh, nervous, Allison, because you're on. You're, you've been doing videos for a long time, haven't you? I have, but it's like I'm meeting Todd. Uh, oh no, <laughs> no, that's just. <laughs> well, oh, that's cool. Yeah. My mum you... introduced oh. me to you. Really? Um, that's how I got onto the friends list. Yeah. You're kidding. So, now, mm. who's your mum? Uh, oh, Patricia Walsh. Oh. So she's on your friends list, yeah. Yes, I know her from way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. long time. And you when you was in your living room and you were dancing with your <laughs> with your DJ decks, and you were dancing around your living room, and it's like it was the energy from you was amazing. Oh my God, that's yeah. way back. That's like yeah. 2014, 2015. Yep. Oh my God. Some of those videos come up and I just look at them and I just go, oh my God. <laughs> no, no, it was good. Well, it just shows you that you can lose your mind and still find the light, right? <laughs> How long have you been doing what you're doing? You've been, you've been plugged in a long time. It, it, that's what it doing seems. Been a long time. Yeah. Yeah. 30 years mm. I've been wow. doing uh, readings for 30 years. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Very soon. So how did you connect with Greg? Just, you really leave me to do this. Well, <laughs> well the divine feminine is I leading the way. Out. I can start out because she doesn't really remember the, the beginning part anyway. No. Um, what happened was it, that basically this goes all the way back to about 2008, 2009, uh, when I had a dream that I had met my twin. And I all I remember was her eyes, her nose, and her mouth, and her smile. Yeah, that, that was it. I didn't see any part of her. We didn't, I don't remember any conversation, but I just knew that this was my twin flame. And because I saw her in my dream, I assumed that she was on the other side of the veil. And I've, I've always told people that, you know, and even in, you know, relationships that I've had, no, my twin didn't incarnate with me. She's on the other side helping. But uh, as it turned out, no, uh, what happened was you and I had a beach meetup in January yeah. on Siesta Key Beach. And so I was going through your friends list to make sure that I had friended everybody that was on your friends list. Because who knows, I, I wasn't sure who might be showing up at the, at the uh, beach meetup. Yeah. And uh, so I'm scrolling through your friends and I see Allison's picture. And I go, oh, my God, she's here. She incarnated. So I oh sent her a friend God. request. And uh, from that point forward, you know, she stalked me in my dreams. She, <laughs> but from that point forward, I stalked her in the physical. <laughs> really? Yeah, because it, I, I didn't think, like I said, I didn't think she was here. I didn't think she wow. incarnated here. But here she is. And uh, that's really cool. And to think that that uh, little event we did spontaneously under the tree was uh yeah that's really cool so how did you stalk her did how did you bust the move well i, I, I looked at her i looked her up on, i found her on on uh well first i sent her a friend request i found her on um your, your page and sent her a, fr a friend request and then i found her on on youtube and uh she had a video on uh tarot uh teaching she was teaching the tarot it was part one yeah and i figure okay i'm gonna contact her and ask her when is part two and I did, and she still didn't make the connection. She didn't understand. Yeah. Uh, so I started watching her videos. She would give out like uh, free tarot lessons on her, or free tarot readings on her Facebook page. Mm. And I'd just go and I'd watch and I would draw cards for her, but I'd never ask for a reading. Um, but what I ended up doing though, was I, I, I arranged for a paid reading and that's where it started to click. Yeah. With Alec. And you can, you can take it from here, Allie. <laughs> well, I was doing his reading and he, he was sending me messages and I was thinking, there's no way that somebody like that would be interested in me, but there's a bit of an underlying feeling going on with, with the question and the, he's, he's, and the messages. Um, but I was not interested at all um, in relationship at all, just nothing. Um, I was quite happy on my own, quite happy in my world. And um, so... I might have fancied him, but I didn't, I didn't think that he would fancy me. So um, then he, when, he, when he booked the reading and uh, we started talking, there was a couple of things that he was saying that 
might have led me to think that he kind of liked me a bit. Um, uh -huh. And then when I was doing the reading and I basically said, um, I was talking about his love life and I was saying, I'm picking up on a, a bubbly woman coming into your life who's going to be, um, you know, a big thing for you. You're going to be really happy. Um, and all of these, all of these things. And uh, I said this, and I, did you ask if it, if I was, Pi if it was Pisces, or did I say Pisces? No, you, I, you didn't say it. I asked. You asked, yeah, because it is my Pisces card, but I don't usually say Pisces. Um, and uh, he said, so how do you feel about that, Ali? And I looked at him and thought, what's he asking me that for? <laughs> There's also a card that said new beginnings as well. So I put one and one together. I'm like, it's, it's, it's you. But I didn't, I couldn't come out. I would, sound, I would sound crazy if I said, hey, you're my twin flame. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't Been say delete. anything until she made a recognition. Delete. <laughs> right? Refund. <laughs> the, <laughs> but so you, you said, what? he said, what do you think about that? What did you say? I said, well, I think it's really good for you. It's great. Uh -huh. I was thinking I just kind of changed it around again. I was trying to be professional. Yeah. <laughs> did you did you have a, you, you said that you kind of had an underlying thing you kind of knew, right? But yeah. you feel something, but you know, people people come and go in your life, don't you think they're good looking or they're, you know, mm -hmm. you do that, but you don't, and somebody flirts with you, but that could be an everyday occurrence, you know, mm -hmm. then nothing else comes of it. So I didn't think anything more really. It was only kind of later on that when we started speaking and then we, the, re the uh, reading just went on two hours, three hours. And uh, then well, I that think, that wasn't normal, was it? Did you no. read? Into, yeah. No, so. I don't know. I do do long readings. If they book an hour, they usually get an hour and a half to. Yeah. To, but um, we we literally went on. He he. We were talking about personal stuff as well. We wasn't. It wasn't yeah. the reading then. Yeah, yeah. So that was it. That was yeah. it. <laughs> no, not exactly. Well, I mean. Yeah, I yeah, mean, I know, you probably yeah. didn't verbalize it at that moment, but no, yeah. no. I mean, I did the same thing with Morgan. I, I sent her, a, a, I saw her like Greg did, you know, and I saw her and I went, uh oh, wow. Was, she was in Australia, and so I was like, so I sent her and I, I did stalk her for a while, like, you know, like probably five months, you know. I would go to her page and look at her pictures. She only had like five of them, read her stuff, and then one day I wrote her a note and I said, hey, do you want to join the Sology group? I've never sent a message to anyone else, you know, <laughs> and about the, and, and yeah. So that's, it was the same kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, and, and you lovely. know, and so like, oh, so you had a, uh, you had a camera reading. Was it, was it on cam or was it? On, yeah. Okay. So what happened? Yeah. Like, well, I guess you, both of you had already heard the other voice because you both make videos. Yeah. Because a lot of people talk about when they hear the voice the first time, it's like their whole body just lights up and knows. I didn't have that. No? No, it's only when he said, I believe in you, Ali. Ooh. Just that, those words. And I thought he said those words to me many times in many lifetimes. It kind of, everything wow. just came in then. Wow. Yeah. Did you have that moment with Morgan? Uh, yeah. I did. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Because uh, what happened was uh, I was uh, going through a whatever you call it, the deep dive. And I was yep. curled. I was curled up in a ball at three thirty in the morning, my time yeah. in the studio in that studio you were talking about. And I was crying and I had already oh. gone through like Kuan Yin and I called in everything I could. And and then because I had sent her that note she had yes. sent one back to me and she was, can you tell me something about it? And I was busy at the time. And I said, I'll write you back later. So she wrote me a note <laughs> at three 30 in the morning and said, uh, that's okay. I've already, uh, you didn't get back with me. I checked it out. It was kind of like a, you know, kind of like a yeah. one off. And then I just said, I need to talk to you. Like, uh, I, and then she said, I know. And then she said, uh, let, can I hold, uh your heart in my hands can i wow. put my hands through dimension well she'd been doing harry escamos for downloading it and practicing it for many years and she thought i was just another client and uh so we did that and then 
the next, then I went to sleep and then I woke up the next morning and I messaged her and I said, I need to talk to you. And she goes, I don't talk to people. And I said, no, I need to talk to you. And so okay. as soon as she answered the phone and I heard her voice, I saw Merlin, Merlin's, wow. Merlin's daughter. Like it was like, and I didn't get a lot of stuff like that at the time. And yeah, it was, yeah. So to answer your question, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty wild. So you had, you, he said, you, I believe in you, Allie. And hmm. then, and you kind of alluded that that had been, that he had said that many, many times. Have you yeah. guys, because you guys are both like really connected. Like, hmm. you know, I mean, so like, have y'all had like uh, past life memories pop up or anything like, you know, any stuff yeah. like that go on <clears> like dimensionally? <throat> yeah, some of them, some of them are not nice. In fact, my mom has brought one through. Um, and one that she didn't know that Greg had already known. Wow. So, so you, she brought it through, you tell him, and he goes, I already know that. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. the Atlantis one, wasn't it? Well, one of the, you've, you've done that twice, haven't you? So, uh, yeah. Yeah. I can remember some too. We had some stuff like that happen when she came the first time and she started working with me. Yeah. Um, I remember yeah, I remember we, we connected, we were, we laid down on the ground and we were like, you know, our heads were opposite, put our hands together. And then I remember all this stuff flooding in wow. and I just started bawling. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I left, you know, and all that, but yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. These stories that are popping up like this. Are you finding a lot of twin flames coming together um, for, for a reason? You yeah. meeting a lot of people on your show. Yeah, I think so. It, it, it seems to me that, I don't know, like, of course, you know, it's, you do it in yourself, I guess, you know, and then we're here uh, externalizing things, you know, in, in a physical matter. So it only makes sense. Since how do you go from one to a hundred? You know, you got to go from one to two. Because, you know, the universe is not going to give you anything, any shortcut. But that no. to me, like these, these, I think there's many templates, but I think these unions are a huge part of um, anchoring, you know, the higher, the higher, the sacred wisdom and the higher uh, frequencies and such. Mm. Definitely. Yeah. It's interesting, but it's, it's work too, isn't it? Have y'all, have y'all had uh, some of that go on where, where you're uh, activating each other and stuff like that? Uh -huh. Come to you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not really. Um, what we're seeing, though, are is that we are both getting attacked on occasion. Is that right? And we, we turn to each other for help and support yeah. more so than anything else. Yeah. We've experienced but that. Not, not triggering. Oh, have you? That's interesting. That's in, the, in, in the earlier. So we've been together almost five years. So, but in like the, oh my God, yes. I mean, we, we, the first trip she came over here, she was here 10 weeks and, of course, about four or five of those weeks, I was in kind of a boot camp. I called it a boot camp. It was her zero point work and uh, helped me tremendously, changed my life. And uh, but then we had a whole, we, yeah, we we were we were, I guess if that's the right word, attacked, uh, mm. uh, impeded. Uh, we had some yeah, some stuff happen that was uh, kind of dimensional in the in the physical. So there was yeah. a lot of stuff and and non physical <clears throat> as well. Yeah. Why do you think that is? I mean, we've yeah, surmised that. what that might be. What's that, Grant? I was going to ask the same thing. Why do you think oh, that happened? I don't know. You know, I, you know, I don't have, um, I personally, you know, kind of made my piece dark and light in 2016 and I've never really looked at anything as evil or working against. And Greg and I have had these conversations in regard to like what's going on in the world and, so it is, you know, I, I don't claim to, to really understand any, any everything, but um, I, I think it's, okay, I look at it this way. Um, one of the things I notice about myself and people like you, both of you, um, is when I would go places, I would, um, I use the word activate, but I would trigger people. Like, you know, I would just, it would just happen. And uh and I think in the energetic field, there's probably 
obviously, um, I remember talking to this one lady years ago when I started this show, uh, and she was in the Illuminati. She even had like wow. an ID card. Uh, it was, wow. we did like a series of like six weeks of, <clears throat> and it was pretty intense. Um, but anyway, one of the things she told me was that they had, and I'm only saying this for a metaphor, not to get stuck on the, the reality of it or whatever, but that there was basically a global uh, map, digital, you know, that any time a soul started to illuminate, then the forces or the counter forces would. And so I look at the unions kind of like that, like um, yeah. they're they're illuminating to a point where, you know, they're getting noticed and, and then they draw that polarity in which really in the grand scheme of things makes sense because that's make sense. Yeah. Then it, it puts the individual and or the couple in a space of, of a higher potential to work through, you know? Mm. Yeah. It kicks us up the bum to do something about it though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We have and done it, some work together though, haven't we? We have. Yeah. yeah. So. And, and that's the other thing I noticed too, I think, uh, and of course, I can identify with your situation because we were we were apart for uh, about I want to say about a year and a half before we ever saw each other. And um, wow! And so, and we did we did a lot of merging, uh, and then and then and I mean, like because for me it was like I had had a lot of experiences alone, but I'd never had them with somebody else. And then when we came together it would have been, there were some things that happened that, you know, like, you know, there were Jesus face in the clouds or, you know, just different kind of weathers, weather would follow us. And, but the second time she came was a year later, or nine months later. And in the first five days that we had, we had uh, uh, an encounter of, we were told, you know, get on the bed, kneel, face each other. And then we both morphed for about 45 minutes into previous incarnations, both on planet and off planet. And then a couple oh of days, you know, a little few days later, uh, there was like 10, 12 uh, star family aspects came in and f filled the room. And two of them stepped into my back, you know, stepped into me. One was, I found it's gone shivers everywhere. Yeah. So that, that part of that part of our relationship, obviously since we've been in, you know, physically together, um, those kind of things have been like mind blowing. Like, mm. like it feels natural, but it's like, um, you it's know, it's real. one thing to have it happen by yourself, like we all have, but to have somebody with you, you know, like that first one I told you about, like we didn't, we didn't talk about it that night. Like the only thing that was said, I was like, I would look at her and go, what the F is that? And she would just giggle. And, um, but the next day we talked about it and she saw the same thing I saw, you know, and, and, and that's how it's been, you know, whether it be dragging. But you couldn't, similarly, similarly to what happened with Allie and me, mm -hmm. you couldn't come out and say, hey, you're my twin flame. You knew ahead of time, you knew first. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah, because, uh, and you know what's so weird is that I, before I did videos, I, I was doing, I did, you know, I wrote. And then when I came off the streets, I put it to pictures. So I would put these pictures out. And then like right before I met her, I started doing this twin flame series. It's like I knew she was there. Right. And uh, but yeah, to your point. Well, I did. I told her straight up. Now, I never used that term, but I just I told her straight up when I got her on the phone and I saw that image and she was talking to me and I'm talking to her. And she told me later, you know, when she heard my voice, the same thing happened to her. And I just said to her, uh, like, I was trying to, like, reach through the ethers to touch her and, <laughs> and, and just, you know what I mean? I mean, I was like, I can feel you. And, and I said, I don't know what the hell's going on here, but it's like you were the goddess. I was the god. The world started. And I said, you go that way. I'll go this way. We'll meet at the end. And now it's the end. I told her that. And she would just say, you're just another client. You're going to feel this way for two weeks and then it's going to go away. And I'm like, no, nope, mm -mm, no, it's not. But it's, it, yeah, good question. Yeah. That's the wording that we use. Hmm. God, goddess. Yeah. yeah. Because it's that strong a feeling. Yeah. 
Well, yeah. I mean, if you think about it on the individual level, I am that, right? I mean, like that's all there is. And now you have this externalization and it's the same thing, but it's two. It's like, "Mm, that's, you know, it's, it's, it's happening. Mm. There's too much of it going on for, for, to be, you know, this is not like, you know, yeah, it's not, it's just even like the, the dark energy coming at you or whatever, mm. you know, those, there, there's a lot of characteristics that in the couples that I've talked to or share the same thing Yeah, to, to include the sacred sexual vibration, whether you're physically together or not. Yeah. That seems to be. Yes. Yeah. And you guys talk about doing work together too. That's another thing I noticed. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but it's to me, I, I, I over time I've understood, or at least from my own, perspective I, I feel that like we're doing work all the time like yes. it could be us having lunch together it could be us working out a business solution it could be anything and I realize and see in the field you know what the um, effects are mm. yeah. yes yeah, yeah definitely um I think it's, uh, it's it's not just about us, definitely. No. There's something bigger going on. And I think yeah. that's what was picked up by the other side. Yes. And, well, uh, I can remember in March as an example, because um, she's very much like you, right? I'm more of a feeler. I can see sometimes, I can certainly see a lot of what she's pulling in, uh, whether she states it or not but most of the time she's the channel. Right. And, uh, but I remember in March specifically that one of several times, but this one was kind of like a completion mode and it. And so she pulled it in and it was the earth and there was all these, well, there was the, the grid, but at points of the grid, there were all these unions and they were all coming up. And and, and and so it kind of like at that, that particular channel she did, it all kind of like, I don't know, it it hit a point where the circuitry just did something. It just went off. Like, and we were told at that time that, that uh, enough of the couples had come together and that the conception of the golden child had occurred and that it would be birthed in, uh, you know, like the winter solstice Christmas time. So yeah, there's much more than, than us. I totally agree. The golden child. Did you say conception of the golden child? Mm-hmm. Like the what third do you mean energy. By that? The third energy, like the Trinity, oh. the, the triad. The third oh energy. yeah, yeah. Which again, that's been another part of um, what we've picked up on since that second trip when she came. Mm. Like in that first five day period, uh, there was a lot of stuff going on, and um, one of the things that happened was Sology actually came to us as a. I want to say a partial representation of the third energy that two bring or that two create, but actually came to us and said, well, appeared like as a tree with these golden fruits and said, you guys are like caretakers. There'll be more. And point being that it told us that, that it was in and of itself, a consciousness created that uh, like a baby that had grown up basically. Yeah. And so that's, that's, that would be, you know, when people talk about the Trinity or, you know, that that's, we've gone from duality to a Trinity. Um, one of the things that I'm curious about with like with you, Allison, cause like Morgan's like you, right. And mm. she can't, she can, I mean, like, how can you not feel Greg? I mean, I'm not talking about, but like in terms of like conventional yeah. energy practitionership, you know, yeah. like, can you read him? Cause like she told me, I can, when she looks in people's eyes, she can see their, you know, but she says, when I look in yours, I can't see. Does, do you, can you read him like you can other people? Yeah. It's the mirror of me. Yeah. Yeah. She knows what I'm thinking at all times. (laughs) Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's, that's, that's because like, I'm getting to the point where, um, I don't know how to say this, but like whatever I'm feeling, I know in some way that I can't, 
quite comprehend she is too. Like there's nothing that yep. it's so it's weird it, because it's like the, it, it's emerging or, or unification or something, but it's the, for the human, it's taken me a while to really start to get my arms around that. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, on Facebook, uh, Morgan was asking how long did it take for me to ask to let you know, but the, the whole thing was I <clears throat> needed Allie to recognize it first before That's I could true. actually say anything. But Allie has a story that precedes all of this. Do I? Yeah, you did. You did, <laughs> you, you did a spell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? What happened? Yeah, did I? It only dawned on me after he said that I came to him in a dream. I was like, I don't remember my dreams. I wouldn't remember doing that. And then, you know, and then as time went on, I thought to myself, do you know what? I did do something. And it was at a time where I was so sick of uh, menial relationships that weren't going anywhere. Does that make sense? And yeah. sort of thing. And I was ready at that time. It wasn't when I met him, but I was ready at that time. How long ago was it? Would you it was like 2008, that? 2009, somewhere in that area. Yeah. Yeah. The same that time was... you, the same time you had that dream. Yeah. Right? So oh, that's what you're I... talking about. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. That's when I had that dream, right? And okay. that's yeah. the time she did the sp she did the spell before I had that dream. So this is how long it took for us to finally get together. But continue, Allie. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I just did this this kind of working. I put some herbs together, and I um put some symbols together and um, every night I would do my affirmations and say thank you universe for my um, soul connection thank you for bringing uh, this man to me we are happy we are I can't remember I have got it actually found written, written down um, what I said and um, and then I'd, I would then go to sleep and uh, obviously something was going on then but then I thought that my prayers wasn't really that answered and, and at that point and, and as time went on it was, I think I had another relationship that went and <laughs> I just went okay I give up I just I'm not really that yeah. bothered I'm actually all right on my own what's impressive though is she traveled interdimensionally to find me and I was thinking <laughs> first of all I wonder if twins send out that like that beacon kind of pulse or vibration kind of thing so she knew exactly how to find me in my dreams that 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 impressed the hell out of me that she was able to do that she all the way from across the pond she comes and finds me in my dream and go boom and, and to make <laughs> such an impression uh, such an impression that i don't remember us even having a conversation i just remember her looking at me and smiling in my wow. dream and that's all i needed to know i knew that she was my twin and for me to remember that for all these years, it was, it was burned into my mind that I know this woman, I know this woman, but she's not here. She's on the other side of the veil until I saw your page with her on it. That's far out, man. So and that, my mom introduced yeah. me to you. So it's actually my mom as well. So my mom. Um, and you're, and you're said, talking. You've got to follow this man, Todd. He's, he's, uh, he's great. So. You're talking 2014. 24 at least no later than 2015 yep. early 2015 because i remember yeah. your mom i remember Do her. you absolutely she was she used to talk to you oh that's nice that she yeah. she'd like that she's probably yeah. watching say hi mom yeah say hi to her <laughs> hey patricia <Some> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh but uh yeah morgan just said uh i came to her within a week of us connecting she also brought up something earlier i, I didn't i wouldn't i was so in uh grossed with talking to y'all i didn't even look at any of the comments but there was a there was in that <clears throat> in that time that that when the second time she came which was 2018 when that stuff was happening that i was telling you about and a mm -hmm. bunch of other stuff happened there was a dude who i'd collaborated with who kind of went south right and he was pretty powerful you know uh and he went into her room through a portal, put his face right up to her and tried to scare her. And at the same time that was happening, I was in this bedroom waiting for her to come yeah. to meet me in, in Georgia. And the window flew off, flew out of the, the pane into the room. Like nice. these, these, yeah. So there was, there was a, 
some of that going on. Yeah. Wow. Did yeah. she recognize him? Did she yes. recognize his yes. face? She yes. did. And I, and I had did, she, did she send it back to sender? What did she do about it? Well, whatever she did, she did it. She knows good. what to do. <laughs> she, she, good. She, it, it was gone after that. And we had, other, we had other ones too. I mean, but... Mm. Yeah, you know, it, it was it was uh, now looking back at it, I can see how it built. I guess they were all like initiations, maybe. I don't know. Training, we always, maybe. We always, yeah, we always stuck together. There was always this understanding, you know, regardless of the ups and downs of the human experience. Mm. Um, but by the same token, and this was interesting talking to James Greenshields last night out of Australia, because his wife and him had been on the show a couple of times, and then I had him on individually. She was on earlier in the week, and he started the show out by saying, uh, Kirsty and I got divorced for the 50th time last week. But my point is, is we've had these moments where we've had to detach, you know, be it for an hour, for a day, you know, we, we and, and, and we always seem to come. It's like, it's like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like you go into your own space totally and detach, and then you come back and you're more, you're more unified. There's more oneness. And I just wonder how that's going to roll, you know, but mm. I've also heard other people talk about that. <clears throat> we don't know yet until we really connect, do we? Physically. Well, we can, and everybody's different. You know, who knows? Yeah. I mean, your strengths might be my weaknesses and vice versa. And, you know, who knows how this all works, but I definitely think it's, I, I think it's becoming such, uh, so evident that, at some point, like the rest of, well, what Greg's been doing at N5D for years, I mean, <clears throat> that it's going to become mainstream, you know, just especially if the, the uh, expanse between the polarities continues to widen. Well, I think this is the new reality TV thing. That's what yes. I think. Yeah. I mean, I can't believe it. We have a date on a Tuesday evening with everybody. Everybody's there while we're having this date. What? Yeah. And we, I, I thought it was Matt. When Greg said to do it, I thought, oh, come on. No one's going to want to do that. We do a Tuesday night chat uh, yeah. on Zoom on YouTube. And uh, we just chat for like an hour or so. And <clears throat> But people seem to dig it. They just. Oh, yeah. No, I've seen that. Yeah. I did. I thought you said you had. So you actually started out as a date. Like a date. No, well, we just started doing the this. Post. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you know, there's a lot to be said for that. I mean, this is the real cut to me, and I say it all the time on the show that the, uh, the highest transformations, downloads, channelings, activations come from this. Yes. And so, for you guys to to get out there and and do that, that's mm. that's that's I mean, you can't get any bigger than that. I mean, that's no. huge. <laughs> so, one one time on our show that we did, uh, we, we <laughs> put it out there. <laughs> If we put it out there that um, if anyone has any questions, ask away. And there was zero, no questions. They just want to hear us talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, isn't that, I mean. I didn't well, think really that it would go anywhere. I really didn't What's think it? it would go anywhere. Wow. But it does. So. <laughs> but it's like what you said, Allison, about the new reality. So it's like, uh, you know, um, it's it's illumination like yeah. people people see light and uh and you can't people and the other thing they, yeah and they can feel it too through the yeah. and that it's what real. they're watching yeah and that it's real yeah you know mm. that it that it's there's are real enough to work through whatever shadow might be there or however you want to say it but i mean it, yeah the truth frequency yes where two or more gather right where two or more yeah. Are part mm. of it that's that's the new math that's you know not not where we came from and what i like and my mum was talking about as well i watched the interview with you guys um i think when he spoke to you about me that's right the, yeah. and you was both talking about you was talking about morgan and greg was talking about me um the comments were basically that these two men have found their feminine sides and they are able to just explain, yes, I'm openly in love with my partner. That has been such a big hurdle for men for years that they don't usually show that side. Mm. And I think for you two to do it out, out 
in the out here I think it's just gonna um hopefully change men I think because it doesn't make you soft it actually makes you stronger yeah and and for women it's a huge turn on I would say I'll shout yeah. it from the rooftop <laughs> you have I have <laughs> Yes. I love it. <laughs> yeah. You know, one thing I, I, I did notice, and I just figured this out while we were on the air, uh, our, our first date, we obviously we have recorded, was uh, the reading that I had with Allie. And that was on March 31st, 2020. And then shortly after that, I sent her a song. It was a song by Paul McCartney called My Love. Oh, because nice. there's a lyric in there that says, only my love holds the other key to me and i sent sent that to her because it had a lot of meaning to me that song yeah. is powerful man yeah that, yeah it's a powerful song and sh it was shortly after it was on april 12th of 2020 that we announced on facebook that we're a couple That's so if you if you do the numerology of 331 2020 and 412 2020 you get 11 11. Wow. No. Yeah. Well, that. is that was spontaneous as well? We wasn't thinking about it. Not at and all. Then, and I didn't think he'd do it, and he did it. No. <laughs> but, <laughs> actually, actually, we're thinking about doing a conference on 555 next year. We are, yeah. May 5th of 2021. Can you not come, Todd? I'm there, man. Where's right. it going to yeah. be? Where's it going to be? Do it. Minnesota. No, oh, I'll be there. Awesome. Absolutely. Awesome. That's it. Then can that I, place. Can I meet Morgan? I'd like to meet Morgan. You have to speak to her about that. Okay. I, I've learned one thing, you know, and which is a good thing, but you know, she's going to do what she wants. And, That's nice. That's and nice. It's, though. it's to be, well, you got to let it flow. You got to let that feminine energy flow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, it's been a, it's like what you were saying earlier about, you know, declaring uh, it's, it's an easy thing to do. But if I look at, you know, because mine had a, a, a natural progression, I guess, and she's she's kind of camera shy. So there wasn't a whole lot said, but one but, you know, it started to come out. You know, I wrote some stuff about it. She wrote some phenomenal stuff, um, you know, but um, what I was going to say is both of you have, a, a, you know, a wealth of experience and exposure to you know, to say light worker circles or just public publicity or whatever you want to call it. So for you guys to come out uh, as early as you did and make that declaration, I mean, that's, that's pretty bold, man. It didn't that's, feel odd. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Very natural. Yeah. You can feel the truth mm -hmm. frequency of it. I mean, that, then that kind of, you know, kind of validates it. Morgan asked, uh, which is going back to the third energy thing. Uh, do you have a, joint mission you know or a project for humanity or you know like something that you well you already are because you're already collaborating on n5d but i mean does that look is that something that you guys just kind of naturally are flowing into i think there's there's a lot that we're gonna start to unfold i think um but i have been they, they keep talking to me saying well my guides keep talking to me saying that we've got to stop doing this gooey eye thing and get on with some bloody work basically <laughs> that's what <laughs> yeah I think, I think that conference is a step in the right direction but there's so I much more so. that we need to do uh, well. but i can't wait to work physically one-on-one -on -one with yeah. ali you know it's frustrating the hands yeah. and yeah. putting our energy into whatever it is that we're going to manifest yeah. or bring about yeah 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 that's a that's a we big do. deal that's a bit that's a big big thing you know um you yeah. know because like we do our, some work don't we but we um yeah so but we've got so, we're so busy in other areas of individually it's difficult to fit everything in and to energy wise yeah well i think you know when you come together they're obviously you know that's it's uh, like when when morgan landed and of course i was you know like with your mom uh, you know, directed you to, to, to me or Sology, whatever. I was still more of that person, right? Mm. So when I met Morgan in 2017 in the flesh, yeah, um, I was still, you know, hitting it pretty hard. I was 
you know, the hobo, basically. Anyway, uh, I was in Philly. She flew into JFK. So I took a plane, train, automobile, and got over there. And I was half an hour late. She's standing outside. And I saw her, and, and I made a complete fool of myself. Like, just, I, I, Did you? I just jumped around her for like, you know, two or three minutes. And <laughs> oh, I, kept, I love it. I kept saying, you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Like, I, yeah, you know, like, you're like, you know. And she just said, can you just go sit inside and leave me alone for a minute? <laughs> you know? Yeah, I made a total fool. <clears throat> but, uh, oh, my God. That's so cute. But back to the, but the, the, the work, you know, a lot of the work was focused on me in the first four or five weeks because I needed it. And she came with that knowing. Like she knew this had to accelerate because we didn't have a lot of time. But some of the work that we did, uh, yeah, I mean, like, you know, for instance, like building a camp. Uh, actually, I had never heard her do light language, right? I didn't even know what it was. And she starts, and she doesn't do it like publicly. <clears throat> but when something's about to happen, she does it, right? And she'd have me do things like, you know, like, I, you know, just things I don't even want to get in. <laughs> like, <laughs> go, go outside in the backyard you know, take your clothes off, dance around the fire. I mean, I'm, I'm being a little <laughs> Love it. But, uh, but there was always an energetic, like she was getting the information yeah. and then the physical action had to be taken. Right? Yes. Um, I and I always that. understood that. There was something about, and I think that's another part of, of these relationships too, is like the, the, the energies of the collective feminine and masculine kind of like follow or the 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 end of the couples follow it in in you know in a way created or something i'm not sure yeah that's an interesting so and that's interesting, interesting that you've put a spell out you come into his dream your yeah. mother found and then we have a thing at the tree and he sees you from wow yeah yeah you you, you were a major player in yeah, this you are. God. yep so yeah. thank you I want to yeah. say thank you. That's a, yeah. brought me to this lovely man. I couldn't be happier. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's what I was going to say too. Cause like it's the first time she came and it was so weird because when she left, I, 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 it was like, I don't know, like five in the morning or something. We were in Salt Lake city. I had to drive to the airport, my friend's car, they were doing construction. So I pull up, I said, I'll go park. I'll be right back. Well, I couldn't park anywhere. So we just, that's what I said to her. That's how we departed. And so nine months went oh, by no. and it was brutal, right? So oh, I can, I can I, imagine. I feel for you guys. Yeah. That's what I'm not going to enjoy. No. Because I said, my feeling is when we meet, we're not going to want to be a part you of him. You, you, and you know what? The way the universe is working now, you probably won't separate. Mm. Yeah. So we're going to record our meeting together. We'll have our- well, Because we've been, everyone's requested it. So yeah. we yeah, might as we've well. we've had requests for that. That would be cool. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, her mom even said that she would record it. But she I think did. Just, <laughs> I think we're just going to rely Jump on right one, one. Yeah. And you know, we'll, we'll have our own little angles from it and uh, <laughs> try to well, keep it at least. The, we've got plenty of time to be together. No, that's powerful. The second time we, we she came over, we did that. Our friend filmed it. It's like, oh, you know, wow. That's like nice. A, like a minute and, you know, a minute and a half. But it, but you know, it comes up every now and then, uh, you know, when the memories come up. But yeah, it. That, but see, that's what I'm talking about. Those type of thing is, is full of code for people. Yeah. Yes, uh, that is what we, that's the messages that we've been getting, is that it's given people hope that they can find their twin flame. Yeah. Or yeah. or their special somebody. Yeah. You know that, and it doesn't matter that we're in lockdown. We met in lockdown when nobody could go out the house. You know. Crazy. We met there. Um, so it doesn't matter, you know, you and can don't be afraid any... to, to wait and, to, and do your work in the meanwhile. And you yes. may find people that you're in a relationship with, but yeah, sometimes it takes time to find and all the, all the T's to be crossed and dot, uh, uh, I's yeah. to be dotted before you can actually meet that twin. Like I said, this happened 2008, 2009 that I saw her in my dream, yeah. but it wasn't until, you know, this year, 2020, when I, when I was on your, your Facebook page that I saw her. So I'm getting chills, man. I can't stop getting chill. Uh, like 
somebody because it's like, similar you know because it's similar you're recognizing the energies yeah with you and morgan and you're recognizing so it's, it's nice to hear you talk about morgan i like that mm. it's funny too on on facebook denise is saying denise chadwick is saying todd and greg you look like brothers especially the hair i, yes. I, I, was noticing I agree too. i, I agree the, curl, the curls on the side here and the hair up like <laughs> yeah <laughs> but you guys when you talk and connect mm. it is something more yeah you do know each I know, other i noticed oh, that. yeah <clears throat> i noticed that well. the, the first time we did a show um together just the two of us yep uh I remember, I remember very specifically because I was in, I was living in Kauai and uh, I was doing like five, six shows a day. I mean, it was like balls out. And then something happened. There was a big masculine move or I don't know what was going on, but Greg and I just, we, and it wasn't even like planned out. It was just like, Hey, you want to do a show? And like, I think it was the night before that morning. And we just went on and we wrapped for like two hours. And I knew then, you know, I was like, you're oh, not, you should, you're not, you're only like an hour show kind of guy. You, you don't usually go over right. an hour. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Normally I just, and we went like two and a half hours. Yeah, we did. And it was, uh, but I'm like, notorious for that going over <laughs> way over an hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. Somebody, um, somebody said guy, guy, a man on Facebook saying 50 shades of gray. So Ellie, you're not included <laughs> in that. I think, I think that's in reference to Todd and me. <laughs> oh, right. 50 shades of gray. Oh, that's my friend. Of oh, that, that's that, our that, friend, Paul, Castan Paul Castaneda, yeah. my cuñado. <laughs> he lives over in L.A. He picked up Morgan and I from, uh, well, actually from Kauai on 8-8 at Terminal 5D at LAX. Uh, he offered to pick us up, and uh, he, he was good to us. He's a smart aleck, too. But, so isn't it awesome, though, when, when, when you're together – with Morgan, like I am with Allie, and you get all, get all these confirmations from other people yeah. about how right it feels when other people see you, you two together. Yeah, yeah, I, I see it a lot. Um, and again, mine's kind, kind of been like a, um, ours has been kind of a, a natural progression. There hasn't been a lot of, you know, there was nine months apart after the first time, which was perfection. But um, where I see a lot of it, is um you know we run on contributions and thank you everybody for that um but i but i get these incredible messages you know it's not the 569 or the 1111 i mean that's all very much appreciated but it's these messages and and, and, the, and the interesting thing is because morgan doesn't come on camera a lot but like i just got a flurry of them a couple days ago like three in one day and they were just like thank you and morgan you know it's all they always they don't just say thank you they'll just always say thank you and thank morgan and a couple of them uh from the, this period of, of the last couple of days one of them said um you know thank you i love what you do da, 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 da. and oh and please tell morgan hello and please give her a hug and please tell her that there's something very special about her and uh, oh. i need i need to meet her or something like that i mean oh so i've seen it i've seen that and that really, um, I think more than anything, that's the, the one thing, these messages from people that um, really uh, made me, you know, or, or, or I don't say validated, but made me realize, wow, this is really working, you know? So. Yeah. You don't you need know. the, you don't need that, but it's nice to have that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It is. Yeah, absolutely yes. it is. So you're and gonna come to the conference then? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, let's Absolutely. get a speak I, at it. They'll be I one will, of your speakers. I will do whatever. I will. Will rap, you be a speaker? Speak, I'll dance or whatever you want to do. Yay! Huh? Absolutely, I would. Absolutely. Oh, that would be brilliant. Yeah. I right. mean, you know, it's it's uh, this is what it's all about now. You know, I mean, it's it's all about collaboration. I mean, this is well. That's what the you you said that about you know the the uh, the couples. I mean, yeah. that's that's a collaboration. Yeah, it's it's a team. Yeah, yeah. And you just you start to and Morgan pulled in quite a bit of intel. <clears throat> so this would have been. Um, God, I'm trying to figure out where I'm at. <laughs> I was in Florida. We were getting a lot of stuff down there. She she like I said, she pulls in, you know, the verbalization of it and, and really ninety nine point nine nine percent of it. And uh, but there was uh, there was talks about or, or 
transmissions coming into her in regard to the um, the coming together of two couples, whether it was in physical or whether it was on virtual, and and the 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 effect of that it's like a I think I think I remember her saying one night it's like a nuclear you know cosmic nuclear bomb you know it's just huge mm -hmm. on the grid so which makes sense mm -hmm. yeah. yeah exponential growth absolutely right yeah on. I don't know what I was nervous about I don't either <laughs> especially because you've been on camera so much <clears throat> yeah but I'm in control of that <laughs> I'm always nervous when I go on the spirit chat so as well are you really yeah yeah Morgan gets nervous mm. She's like, turn the lights off. I'm like, we, they can't see your face. She's like, I don't want them to. <laughs> I don't want to see my own face, you know. <laughs> She's beautiful. Yeah, she is. She's been doing a lot of uh, individual sessions. You know, she's always done sessions, but uh, she never like went out, never charged people. You know, we did the show with uh, K Moon. Do y'all know her, K Moon? She's got a pr pretty good, pretty strong. Yeah, she does a. Mm. Uh, YouTube and uh, and then like 90 people, you know, just based wow. on like a, I'd say like a five minute part of the show at the end. The, she asked her, what do you do? And she started talking about zero pointing. Next thing you know, there's 90 people want to have a session with her. But so she's been doing a lot of that and then uh, some group sessions. So she's getting more comfortable with it. Yeah. I'm going to have to try to get her to come on soon. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Uh, people want to see you four of us can can do it yeah that would be cool yeah, yeah. that would be real cool yeah, yeah. absolutely that yep. would be that would be real cool be yeah. pretty powerful i think i think so mm. yeah. i think so absolutely i'm looking yeah. into some um um enhancement of the multi-streaming you know right now we're multi-streaming on five platforms but i'm looking into as we continue to develop, <laughs> which I don't talk about much, but uh, this network. Um, to, so in other words, to be able to, to collaborate, like say within 5D, you know, uh, and say maybe you've got a site and, and be able to multi-stream multiple platforms. I see, that's uh, brilliant. Yeah. It is and, all uh, about networking. Yeah. You've got to get past this shadow banning somehow. Yeah. And yeah, I think if... You know, there, there's ways around it. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. And it and I feel the alignment of it. And so like this, just that idea popping or that vision popping in my head in this moment is more confirmation. But it's coming. There's no doubt about it. Um, hmm. It's 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 and again, like the term you used about you guys, it's it's a natural thing. It's yes, you know, that that whatever you call it, that friction that's been out there, <clears throat> because I know we yeah. get we get suppressed a lot. I know Greg does. Yeah. But I have noticed since we started multi-streaming, we've we've had a couple of spikes in the growth. <clears throat> so you can imagine putting, you know, more than one platform together and multi-streaming, yes. you know, collaborative efforts. That that'd be powerful. Yeah. I said yeah. about kind of having um, like a link for soul solology on Greg's, and then just I mean, so every Very kind nice. of different, yeah. you know. And they everybody links just to me back and forth. Does that make sense to all these different platforms? Just I mean, just with a link on the website. Yeah. That yeah. would also kick them as well. Yeah. The shadow mm -hmm. banning. Well, we're working on it. We're working on mm. a solution. Of course, Greg's been listening to me talk about it for two years, so I don't even want to talk about it because <laughs> I'm yeah. so tired of egg on my face. But uh, I just want to say, Morgan says, "Okay, I'll do that." <clears throat> oh yay so we Good. can we, we can get that together and uh linda winger said so when are you going to meet in the physical greg and allison that all depends on as soon as we're able to i yeah he actually looked into going somewhere else like meeting at places that we can both travel to like i can, here in the united states i can travel to greece and so can ali we can meet there yeah you just can't afford it <laughs> Well, we're just going to have to uh, do something about that. Because I uh, just, it's just like, it's frustrating. Well, you know, and I mean that seriously, um, we had the same issue. Yeah. You know, we, we had nothing. 
and yeah. uh, and and it was crazy because the second time she came, that's when everything blew up. But that's kind of when we, you know, really. I mean, she stepped in and really said, "I'm," you know, she started to to control the the substance of the frequency of the work we were doing, and Soul Speaks mm-hmm. went from like, I don't know. 250 300 episodes at that point to we were doing 100 a month you know for for a while and she just brought in all this energy but but with it with the effort came abundance in many forms Mm. it wasn't just so it wasn't just the money but i don't know i mean you guys been doing this a long time so you know i mean if you can go to greece i know we know some people there i'm sure you do too get some assistance and you never know, man. Oh, we'll put it out there. I mean, as soon as yeah. soon as the, the the travel opens up between the UK and here, we'll, yeah, it's a done deal. Yeah. You've had two flights, two flights cancel. Yeah. Oh, you already had you had booked. Yeah. Them. Yeah. And I had. I was just about to book mine, and then yeah. found out that I wasn't able to fly to America. Because so. what we were going to do, I twice twice I booked a plane to go to uh, the UK, and twice it got canceled. But what we were trying to do was. Um, when I, after I get to go to the UK, uh, she's going to book a flight back with me and then spend time with me here. Right so on. we'd be able to spend a block of time together yeah. in both places. Yeah. And then the universe will step in and yeah. say, oh, you, nobody can fly. Oh, well, we're stuck together. <laughs> well, guys, so, you do a fundraiser for that meeting. That, that's, yeah. People that's won't right. do that. Just for us to, to uh, me. Yeah, they would. <laughs> absolutely they would uh and we would love to sponsor that to be i'll be straight with you absolutely oh my goodness i guarantee you that we've done some fundraisers for people when when it resonated and absolutely this is important <laughs> this is vital oh wow yeah, yeah. i would uh, love that yeah do, morgan wants to know do you have dates online besides yes. the ones you do okay well yeah we, yeah on T- tuesday nights yeah well, well, night no, for no, me. No, no, but I mean, one. yeah, like private ones. Yeah. Oh, every night, every, every single every night. night. <laughs> yeah, every hours. Yeah. Do you, do you know how? I don't know if it's if it was shyness or intelligence. <laughs> she did not get on. She wouldn't even send me pictures. I think she sent me two pictures in a year and a half. She would not wow. get on camera with me. So I'd send her like four or five photos a day. You know. Yeah all kinds of stuff because I was still in that mode of the of the studio with the, no shirt and all you know <laughs> so she'd say uh none of that you can just you know but anyway um so like a, Allie, uh, if Allie doesn't have her face on she won't go on camera yeah. no, that's what she says I have to have my my face yeah. on <laughs> well I respect that but you know uh about a week before she came the first time I was in Philly sleeping on a floor in, in the room I was in and I hung over and, uh, and my phone rings and it was her. And she called me on camera oh, okay. and I started, I just looked at her and I just started bawling. Oh. And, I did, and I, so I said, I got to hang up. I'll call you back. <laughs> well, she thought that I didn't like the way she looked. Oh <laughs> no, of course. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. She thought I didn't like the way she looked, but it was the opposite. I was blown away. She actually uh, had a, a funny question on on Facebook. She asked, yeah. "Who said I love you first? Yeah, that would just, be me. That was you. And I, I prefaced it by saying, "I I don't. It doesn't matter what you say or whether you want to answer this or not or answer mm-hmm. say anything back. But I love you. Yeah. And she didn't. She didn't say I love you. And I said, "You don't have to. I already yeah. know. But I can't say it. And I said, "You didn't. You don't have to. I already know. Yeah." Uh, he said it shortly after that, but well, okay. So, like in in my case, I think I told her I love you a hundred times before I ever heard it. But it wasn't again. It wasn't. But you already was, knew, also. I I knew, but yeah. it, it, my human and that's was the intelligence that she exhibited. She did. She wasn't going to enable that part of me. You know what I mean? No. So <laughs> when she did tell me, you know, it blew me away. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, it was like real. And it taught me something. I don't say it. I don't say it like I used to. We, in fact, we'll go a while. We'll go a few weeks. We won't even say it to each other. We don't have to. We show each other. Mm. Yeah, very cool. I think the fundraiser thing is uh, people are up for this. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. I, love no. that. I mean, I, I think this is a great idea, though. And this is how it happens in the spontaneous, intuitive, creative moment, right? We could do a we could do a live video from Greece thanking everyone. Dude, yes, we can 100%. we can do this. This is important. This is this is what the world needs. It needs momentum like this to counter, you know, what's fading. But I mean, still, it'd be nice to accelerate things. We've all busted our ass for long enough. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, especially when you consider it's not just this lifetime. No, it isn't. Many, many lifetimes. Mm. Yeah. yeah, we've got Allison saying she'd contribute. I think this is a yeah something we need to put some thought into. And Greg, you've got huge following. I do. Yeah. If they can actually see what I post. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have we have other what other uh, you know we can assist there, yeah. no doubt. No doubt at all. Thank you, Todd. Thank yeah. you. Hey, thank awesome. you guys for being, yeah. man, I got to tell you, man, I mean, and look, we've all observed it. How many people have gone out there and go, we're twin flames, you know? Yeah. I mean, I know before I met Morgan and I wasn't the only one, there was people connecting because we were all getting used to that etheric energy, you mm -hmm. know, which had, hadn't really been something we were privy to because we didn't have the internet. But I mean, mm -hmm. I, I probably thought I was in love, you know, 50 times and 60 nights, you know what I mean? I mean, yeah. like, but, but to have the courage and conviction and confidence to, to come out and say, Hey, this is who we are. That's ballsy. That's powerful. Yeah. It really is because a lot of people have, you know, hasn't worked out. <laughs> you know yeah. I mean? There's no doubt yeah. between Allie and me because we actually, we were keeping track. Actually, I was, I was keeping track of all the commonalities that we had we got up to like 58 things that we, that are kind of really bizarre things that are yeah. just out there. Yeah. 58 th ways that we're just identical and there's no doubt. And, and there's so many times we'll have these synchronicities and I'll, I'll, I'll say to say to her, is there any doubt that we were meant to be together? Yeah. Yeah. The universe just keeps telling us. Yes. All the time. Yeah. All the time. Mm. Yeah. People uh, keep saying we look alike. We well, get yeah. that too. The same smiles yeah. and yeah, yeah. No, I, I I see that. I see that. I get that. Uh, are your families excited for this? Yeah, my girls are a little bit wary because of uh, stuff that I've had to go through before. Yeah. So, but my I'm daughter. Sure. Yeah, your daughter's go good. Your daughter's good. Yeah, she had a reading uh, from Allie, and as a matter of fact, she yeah. goes. She she brags to her friends about. Um, how well Allie is at on doing her weekly readings that now her friends are following Allie on her weekly readings. Oh. Uh, yeah. And my, my ex-wife has had uh, several readings with her. Yep. My daughter. I've got to do another one. I promise to do another one for her. So yeah. Do that. So my parents have met her. Allie. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You've met my brother. I, I have. And my sister-in-law. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Far out. Yeah. And my kids are excited. They're really excited. They're just more grounded. Do you see what I mean? There's been so much going on. That's important. Mm. That's 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 a good sign too. Mm. It really is. Yeah. I, I was I was estranged from my kids uh, when Morgan came the first time, and um, oh. and so by I don't know how it worked out. One of my youngest came over, and her and Morgan clicked, <clears throat> and then the next thing you know. We went to dinner with three of them. So she kind of brought everything together. She yeah, she pulled that together. That's lovely. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, yeah family's kind of, important. Yeah. Well, it's nice. It's nice to have it. Because I mean, we've all been through this, you know, most of us have been through this awakening or whatever you want to call it, where we become estranged and we're considered nuts. In fact, most, <laughs> my kids would always message, you know, I'd, I'd say, hey, what's up? And they'd say, is Morgan still with you? <laughs> you know, like, have you have you fucked that one up yet? <laughs> you know, has your craziness got the best of you? But you know, it's the opposite. Oh, no, she's it's lovely. You've mm -hmm. you've um, 
You've enlightened each other, haven't you? Well, I know she's enlightened me. I imagine I've done something. I'm sure it's the other way as well. Yeah. But I mean, I, you know, I've had a lot of people send me notes and say, God, you, it's amazing watching you evolve. <laughs> <laughs> I went from those times that your mom was uh, talking about. Yeah. But, it, but it's because, you know, it, well, you know, you were talking about the uh, 2008 thing, 2009. Yeah. When you did the spell and he had the dream. So we were in Hawaii and we, you know, we were there for a purpose. I'm sure we had many things happen, but so one night, one night we, um, we put our hands together when we go to bed and it came in and it was Monet and it mm. was taking place in this pasture right in front of where we lived. Yeah. And, uh, and so the information that came in was that, um, the, it, the last time we had been there, it, conscious in the monad was 60 years prior and that at that time that's when everything was basically planned and endorsed that we would come down from sology and you know and all that but anyway getting back to what what led into that um yeah i mean sology was what it was but until the the union occurred it it was just basically you know you know, Standard. holding space, you know, incubating or whatever, but yeah. So it's a, it's a, it's part of that uh, evolution, mm. which, you know, because I'm in front of the camera all the time. I mean, a lot of people see it in me, but it's, it's much bigger than that. Yeah. She's working behind the scenes. Oh yeah. Mm. She, that's yeah. it. That's the that's whole. That's nice. Yeah. That's the whole thing. Connection. Yeah. Ever take that personality test where you get those four letters? Yeah. Like Allie and I just did that on our Tuesday show and yeah. uh, our, our date. We did it with all of our closest friends, apparently. Yeah. And uh, as it turned out, I do it every year and I'm an INFP. And as it turns out, Allie is too. Uh, what are you and Morgan? I don't know. I don't know. I, I haven't done one in a long time. She might have. Um, I don't, I don't know, but we, we did, uh, I'll tell you what we did do a couple of months ago was we went to that, um, Richard Rudd site, the gene keys, and we filled out that thing mm -hmm. and, and there's five numbers. You get two primary numbers and we had the two primary numbers. Okay. It was like the 22 and the 55 mm. that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 22 is a really powerful one. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not too well versed in that, yeah. but I know that 22 is a really, yeah. really powerful. It is. Yeah, it yeah. is. And, and the 55 is too. Yeah. Uh, a couple of questions popped up. Uh, what is that? Can you remind us of the wording of that? <laughs> the spell. <laughs> Denise wants to know what the incantation was. I'm going to, I'll get it out and, and I will let, I will, I will, I will say it out there because I, I want everybody uh, to. Yeah define this so didn't you yes. have like herbs and stuff like that like a little it was different um, it was herbs yeah. and it, i've got the spell over there somewhere i showed you the little pot didn't i the little little bottles of that on the market <laughs> right wouldn't that that would sell no doubt sure. <laughs> it works <laughs> i'll say it it works uh, it does yeah you know i had uh, watched the secret before that uh -huh. and i put it out to the universe you know, okay. At the time I was a child and family therapist and had my own business, but I knew there was something greater I needed to do. And I put it out to the universe. I surrendered and I said, screw it. I give up. What, what do I need? And that's when I got that galactic download telling me to build in 5d. It was shortly after that though, that I surrendered to the universe that Ellie came to me in my dream that she did the, uh, yeah. that's that spell and everything clicked. And here we all are together. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, you know the the linear part of it um, seems like you know it, it you know it seems like a long time and all that, but that all seems to be kind of going away now. Mm -hmm. You know, it really does. I mean, two thousand eight, two thousand nine sounds like a long time ago, but it's really it hasn't been that it, it wasn't that long ago. No, no. So much has happened too. <sighs> yeah. 
uh, for both of us, you know, we for everybody, have been yeah. in and out of, you know, relationships, each one, you know, different mm-hmm. ones. And, um, but here we are. And, uh, but it makes us who you, who you are now, doesn't it? Yeah. You have to learn all the lessons before you meet your twin flight. Otherwise you get complications. If yeah. you haven't got rid of all your demons and your, not saying I've got rid of all of mine, but you know, the most of them. Yeah. Otherwise it, you're, you're literally bouncing off broken yeah. twin to the broken twin. It doesn't work. Yeah. True. That's very true. Uh, she just reminded me of something I meant to mention a while ago when you talked about the spell. So she, she has um, in storage, a piece of paper where she drew a picture and wrote down what she wanted. Well, I guess it was a spell. There you go. Yeah, yeah, huh. that would I work. Mean, she she wrote down a, a list of what she wanted. That's it. As long as you're not particular, I think it's, you can't really say this person has to have loads of money. This person has to have this sort of car. This person has yeah. to be, you know, one of my friends, bless their heart. That's what they, that's, that's on their list. And it's like the universe doesn't work like that. Yeah. It really doesn't work like that. In fact, they'll bring you the perfect person, but they'll be penniless. They won't drive. Uh, work. Yeah. She wants them to have hair. Well, they'll be bald. I think she did. I think she did. But this person is absolutely wonderful. That's I think she did do. put hair. I think she, you must have did seen she? though. I think, well, she just put that she wrote the personality traits. And I remember she told me before. Yeah. That's like the most someone, important. Someone that we could understand her world, you know, yes. her conversation and and they other, have to be uh, attractive to you. They don't have yeah. to be attractive to anybody else. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so, and sometimes a couple of times when things were really rough, not that we're in walking on easy street now, but uh, she'd say, I wish I would have put that you had money. <laughs> <laughs> you, I didn't know it was going to be a homeless hobo, you know, we do <laughs> affirmations in one of our, affirmations is we have financial abundance enough yeah. to share yeah well, i think that's part of what's happening especially with these unions and and really even more so yeah. um i'm seeing it happen with the people i can see you know the people that i talk to on the show definitely but uh yeah we need we need to support this though this if that's available to you i mean it's just it's energy, you know, it's abundance. And we're integrating physical and non-physical and part of that is taking action. So I, I think we we pick up on this, yeah, like mm-hmm. tomorrow or the next day and, and just maybe we do it this weekend. I'm up for it because I guarantee you people will support it. There's, I'm definitely up for yeah. it. I'm up for it. <laughs> just uh, put some thought into it, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, how 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 are we want to roll this out? <laughs> I'm game. Oh, yeah. she she says <laughs> she didn't write anything like that, like you were talking about. She says, oh, that's good. She did that's write good. that he would uh, he would be generous, kind, generous, and compassionate, etc. You see, that's good. That's yeah. that's all good. Yeah, it's good yeah. energies. Yeah, and that's what she told me when she told me. She was just, of course, kidding when. Uh... And then, and what about polarities? Like she's you know, quiet in the background. I'm on the other end of it. We have a lot of other ones. Do y'all have any polarities? Yeah, yeah. we do. Um, I, I was born in, you know, following the 80s hard rock, right? Yeah. Uh, she has no idea what's <laughs> any of this. No she didn't know who Van Halen is. <laughs> oh my God. I did. I oh, do. No, you didn't know who Sammy Hagar is. That's right. No, I didn't know who that is. Right, no. right. Who was the lead singer for Van Halen? Yeah. yeah. One of them. Which Greg Greg <laughs> resembles, no doubt. <laughs> I love I love Sammy Hagar. He's amazing. I saw yeah, I saw there's a bracelet that says love and light on it. Does he really? He does. I saw him on uh, Howard Stern not too long ago. I saw him at the original Texas Jam and it was like nineteen seventy seven or seventy eight. Oh, wow. With Montrose. Uh yeah, and uh, yeah. uh the original Van Halen. But Hagar was there by himself. Oh, seven, okay, okay, yeah. gotcha. He was, he was, uh, he was right, pre, right, right, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Trans Am and that other one, uh, that he had that was big. I can't drive, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, uh, I like you know, hip hop, electronic music. <laughs> she, she has great taste, it's you know, obviously, it's softer, ambience type. 
you know, but yeah, it's but, interesting because you, you have these similarities and then you have these polarities. It's really, it's interesting. I was playing, she, I, I had the guitar out the other day and I was just playing for her and I, I played her a few songs and she loved them, but she probably had no idea what they were. <laughs> well, I think I played the lead to uh, one, uh, one lead was to like uh, an ACDC song. Another was to a Jimi Hendrix song. I was just playing some leads and stuff and uh, she, she enjoyed it, but she had no idea who they were. Yeah. Yeah. And that's I'm okay. Sorry. I need to be educated. No, you don't. You, you need to be yourself. Continue being you. <laughs> Perfect. Exactly the way you are. You say that. I love it. It's true. Uh, oh, don't change see. for me. Oh, so somebody just had a reading with Allie before the show. And said it was great. Is that Gregory? Uh, Dire Maker 99. Greg. Yeah, Greg. Yes. Yeah, yeah, really nice. Very nice man. Yeah. He was yeah. wearing one of uh, one of your t-shirts. Uh, yeah. He just Allie, got sent it. Yeah. He yeah. brought a couple t-shirts from me. Uh, on my in, uh, M5D Quantum Tie-Dye uh, shop. I'm going to have to visit yeah. that. I'm yeah. have to go visit this that. is a new one. I haven't even shown this one yet. Yeah, I thought that was new. Yeah, this is it's like a kind of like a tiger kind of pattern. Or yeah, back <laughs> kind of pattern. Yeah, it's kind of so cool. So do you think about what that first moment? Like what's it gonna be like? Are you gonna make a fool of yourself like I did? I'm <laughs> I hope I'm he like, does. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm counting on Ellie breaking wind while she's recording. <laughs> to me that's kind of what? like my worst worst fear ever what happened, <laughs> what happened? What happened? or did i haven't done that yet okay um, i just said that the first when you know you're in a proper relationship you fight in front of each other and uh, then you do it thinks, happens i i've never can remember it happening but she says it does at night when i'm asleep <laughs> so that's not yet it, it does happen. And yeah. I figure you all may as well get it out of the way while we're meeting. Not on the first meet, we don't. While we're meeting, you know, as long as it's her first doing that, that's you great. Have, you have to. We're running to each other. Hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might, you might as well get it out of the way. No, not yeah. the first meet. No, no, get it out of the way. No. You might as well get it out of the way. Uh, I, I don't care people. if you do. It wouldn't, wouldn't matter to me. No, it wouldn't got people in uh, the chat room on Facebook, Linda and Diane, are, they're both saying that they love their shirts and thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I lost all the comments. I don't know what happened to them. Yeah, I noticed a lot of uh, in five years on uh, the chat that have they joined. They really welcomed there. me. Honestly, they've been so lovely. Yeah, they've, everybody's really just lovely. welcomed Allie, open arms and she's instant family for everyone yeah. on in 5 D. I love instant it. Family. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. So, so uh, Morgan's agreed to come on. Yeah. So we could figure something out. I'm going to see if I can get that it, um, expansion of that, the, the streaming capability. We could actually just do one and stream it everywhere, you know? That'd be awesome. That and would not, just be brilliant, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That'd be cool. Uh, I'm sure we could work it out, but uh, yeah, which is cool because I, I think the live part of it is is always better. It's always better. It brings an, an element that you can't get with a pre-recorded spontaneity. Yeah, spontaneity. You don't you don't have a second chance to say something or yeah. whatever comes out. It's what it is. That's right. Yeah. Pass if you pass some wind. Yeah, you're just, <laughs> you're on your own. Well, I've always. <clears throat> Been fascinated by Ellie's nostril. I can't believe hair. you said that. Your nostril. Ellie's nostril hair is kind of whistle songs too. So. Oh my God, you guys are close already, aren't you? Oh my God. I can just, remember. We, we, well, we, that's one of the things uh, we do at night when we have uh, FaceTime. We'll uh, we'll play name that tune and Ellie. No, be, we do not. Holy crap! Uh, I'm kidding. I'm I I remember. Uh, God, I wouldn't even chicken. <laughs> Is so is let's see. Oh, I didn't you realize. Name uh, that tune. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember uh, talk. Well, I think it was the last time we were apart was fifty seven days. 
well, she went to go visit a friend for a few days and then she came over here for a few days, but the last I time she was in Australia. I your shows and you mm. were, mm. I could feel the sadness in you. I know. You're really I, you're I, strong. I, really I remember strong this, uh, yeah, when I was in Hawaii, it was 57 days. <clears throat> and I remember she called me and she goes, you look sad. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm like, damn it, I am sad. What are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah, leaving um, got to be so hard and being apart after yeah. physically meeting. Yeah. Especially. Well, I, that's that. what I worry about. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll have yeah. to deal with it, of course, you know. Yeah. We're all grown up and everything, but. <laughs> yeah, I remember talking to her one time, and it was during that period. And I'm pretty conscious because I'm fairly, you know, I have quite a bit of hair on my face and whatever. So I try to keep myself groomed, but I didn't. And so I was talking to her on the phone and she's, and I guess I had the phone down like that. <laughs> and she says, Oh my God, I don't want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> so I hadn't trimmed, but I, you know. Oh. <clears throat> but uh, <laughs> yeah, so let's do this. You, uh, I got to get my bearing straight today. Are you guys having any issues with like fogginess, cloudiness, like, like yeah. kind of like only able to do like one thing at a time kind of thing. I get moments of that. Yeah. I've been yeah. Having, I've been having We've had trouble life. with technology a bit. Yeah. Weird things happen. In fact, I was talking to my mom about the um, 555, the, um, the conference thing. And my phone was resting. You got my use of resting on my boob like this as I was talking to her. And, um, Basically, I was talking to a friend. My mum was sitting next to me, and um, somebody was tapping on my phone. Five, 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 five. It just kept going on, and I, my, there was nothing connecting to it. Wow. No way. So that's how I know again that this yeah. has got to be on that date. Yeah. It's important. Can't make this shift up. Nope. Yeah, five, five, five. That conference is going to be very powerful. Count me in, man. Yeah, so I mean, even if I have to fly in and fly out or something, but uh, we, yeah, I don't know if you know this, but we, after three and a half years, uh, found a spot or it found us. Mm -hmm. Morgan knocked on the door and the lady answered and said, Hi, my name is Morgan Lee. You know, and Morgan said, That's my name. And so she knew immediately. Wow. No. So we're in a small town in Arkansas. It's very modest, uh, but we have a, we have a place, man. And, that's that's been yeah. a big change for us i mean it's feels good yeah. so so anyway we'll i'm sure we'll be based here for at least a year or two and, yeah but um Sounds yeah, I'd, yeah i yeah. would absolutely jump at the chance you know to to oh, collaborate with you especially if you want me to put a microphone in my hand Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah definitely <laughs> yeah yeah just, I got, I got to say this real quick. We have a pretty bad thunderstorm going on right yeah. now. So if I cut out, yeah. that's what happened. Well, I'm about to shut it down anyway. I got to prepare for uh, Morgan's got a group session coming up. And so I engineer that for. But yeah, so let's, uh, We I know we got a busy weekend, uh, but let's, uh, well, I'll just, me what, what's the best way to message you, Greg? Facebook. Is, yeah. It is? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'll send you a message or you send me a message. Okay. Um, and let's put something together so okay. we can we can all come together uh, for you guys and as you because what you're doing is for everybody it's not just for yourselves you know yeah, and the, world need, the world needs to see it we need to spread this energy so we'll be happy to uh, collaborate with you on that awesome thank it's you a, yeah, thank you yeah thank you uh, it's a pleasure meeting you allison and meeting uh, you too yeah it's been lovely tell your mother uh thank you and um, yeah for the love and support and because those are the people that kept me going yeah back in those days as i was yeah. waiting for i Morgan think she messaged you nearly every day i think i mean probably multiple times a day yeah 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 beautiful tell her hello and Good gratitude day. and uh i'll holler at you greg uh okay. the next next day or two okay put something together uh just real quick i just want to say make sure you guys check out get a reading from uh alice <laughs> oh, no. yeah, she's amazing <laughs> And she's got a deal on right now, 90 minutes for six, for the price of 60. You, it's, it'll be a reading that you, you, you'll remember a lifetime.
I saw, I saw a couple of times. I popped in on a couple of your ones that you were putting up with that when you put up a whole bunch of them at one time. Uh, and I went in and watched a few, you put them up on your YouTube. Yeah. um, Greg did. And Mm -hmm. uh, I usually don't have much patience for that kind of stuff, but I really, I really liked your, you know, your your intuitive. Thank you. You It's very good. Very good. Oh, that's a compliment. Mm -hmm. It is a compliment. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys, uh, take care and, uh, see you, uh, five, five. Yeah. Talk to you in the next day or two. Appreciate that. Thank you, brother. <laughs> See you, bye. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.